So here we are, finishing touches time. So all I've done since um, the last session was darken up these horses a bit more, um, add some horizontal um, reflections in using the paints, same Payne's grey colour that I used on the horses, a little bit of orange and a little bit of red. If you lose the central section, then lift that out again, like I showed you initially, with a bit of tissue. And then I used a little bit of burnt umber and a bit of Payne's Grey, just to paint this foliage in on the left-hand side here. Um, and I used a rigger brush for that, a long, thin, or a liner brush, sometimes they're called. Um, but if you haven't got one of those, then just a detail brush should be fine. So now all I've got is a little bit of, um, well, I'm going to use acrylic here, um, but you can use acrylic or gouache. The only thing with acrylic is once it's on, it's on, you can't get it off. Whereas with the gouache, because it's water-based um, and it's more like a watercolour, you can actually lift it off. So if you're not confident with your painting, then just use gouache. Uh, so you could also use a white pen if your hands are not hugely steady. I put a tiny bit of grey in, mainly because it's not white, the sun is setting and we've got these piebald horses here. Now you may find that when you put this on that it is slightly transparent so but don't worry about that because it actually adds to the texture of the horse and the sort of hairy feeling of the horse so like i said just if you want it solid you can put it solid but the tonal value that comes out with the paint showing through from underneath actually adds to the texture. So paint it on first, see how you feel about it. And then maybe you can decide to put a second coat over it. It's entirely your decision as to what you do in this, in this section. Um, So just careful observation of where these shapes fall because some of them fall into sort of little crevices and areas around structures on the animal. So sometimes they can be quite descriptive as to the, the sort of form of the animal. So just take care and paint these on as, as carefully as possible really. Enjoy sort of observing the structure of the animal like here you can see that the the white area follows the top of the horse's head so that's quite lovely the way that makes that stand out. Make sure your paint is fairly wet, fairly creamy. Now the other animal, this one, this side, I can't really see where the white areas are, so I'm just going to make them up. So I think it comes up in there, and then it seems to go up. I mean, you can make up your own horses, really, if you wanted to. Especially if you have horses of your own, and they are this colour, you could personalise them. It should be kind of cute. So it looks like he's got a highlight over most of his back. So I'll imagine that that is the marking on the horse. And it comes down to his tail area. This one hasn't got anything on at all, so I'll leave him free. There's a there's a, a rump being described over here, which comes around like that, goes up. Again, close observation of these uh, photographs will help you to describe 
and the rump comes in front of that horse's nose actually and down the side like that. So this horse has got a, a white backside but the tail is dark so we'll leave that there like that. A little bit of water needed and then we've got another horse at the back where you can sort of see sorry I've got paintings falling off the wall here um, and there's another little bit of white just showing through there and then there seems to be I can't quite see what's going on there but there seems to be another rump coming over here like that so this is all about um, positive and negative painting um, of shape so enjoy that challenge that comes all the way down to the water that one does um, there's another white area in here like that which goes around that area there there's another white area well I'll do this this one's oops something else falling off here this one's got a white tail so I'm going to paint that tail in It'd be quite nice actually like that and then it comes round and there's another rump just there so I'm going to just put that one in there have confidence in the shapes that are being made by these structures um, it's amazing how that helps define areas especially around the heads of these two here there's a little yeah goes down there like that a bit more I think like that and then out into the withers so you can see that that is really coming to now so like I said if you want to put a second coat on then you can it just especially with the um, the acrylic paint it does cover really nicely with a second coat but with the uh, thickness of the line in that regard I'm just going to put a couple of little blobs of white just on the, the tops of these bulrushes here okay so that is more or less it maybe actually while I'm here I'm just going to take a little bit of white and I'm just going to put it inside the sun try not to overdo this just put a little touch in there and maybe just the odd flicker around this area here you can put the odd highlight but don't overdo this because in reality there is no uh, whites in these areas so be, just be careful and use a fine in fact I'll probably just pick up my rigger brush here and just put in some really fine lines just in white but like I said don't just don't overdo this the tendency is to sort of go mad with these things okay so I think that's more or less it I'm going to let it dry off um, and I'll take a photograph of the finished finished piece it might be that I decide that that's finished um, we'll see okay enjoy it it takes a long time but there's a lot of learning in here there's this lovely sky how to paint a sun how to lift off colors how to create water how to do positive and negative painting how to paint with a rigger brush so there's a lot of learning in here so enjoy it do it in stages take your time with it um, and see how you get on let me know 
if you've got any comments um then you know ask me questions etc etc don't forget to subscribe uh, it's really important and to like the video and share it with everybody that you know uh, i'm sure they'll enjoy it okay thanks for watching